rarely in recent memory, has so much been riding on a single Grand Slam. 43 years since Rod Laver held all four majors simultaneously, one man could do it again at Roland Garros. It would be in a world to me, obviously. It's, it's, it's a history that, uh, that I really respect and I admire what he has done and many other champions in, in the sport and uh, many other uh, great tennis players that we all look up to uh, growing up and, and, and hoping that one day we can become like them. But uh, look, it's still, <laughs> it's still a long way for me. I, I've, I've won uh, you know, many uh, important tournaments, major events, but I still believe I can, I can do more, I can prove prove more to myself and to others that I can uh, be out here for, for a while. 1969 was the second time Rod Laver won all four slams in the same calendar year. But what does the Australian legend think of Novak? Novak is, has got uh, all, all the ability. You know, his timing is great, but his, his ability to move around the court is one of the things that I think is, is quite uncanny, because he can, he can motor across the court you know, backwards and forwards, you know, with that double hander which you can pull sharply across court, or he's got a forehand on the other side that pulls the ball across. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a amazing the game he's got and, and just the lack of mistakes that uh, he's hitting the ball hard. And when, he's, when, he's, when you look at where they land, they're landing within two or three feet or a yard of the baseline all the time. And, and that never gives the opponent a chance to attack. And I think that's why Novak is, is doing so well with uh, all, the, all of today's matches. And like last year, he had a wonderful season. And uh, he's starting off well again this year. So, you know, I think there's, uh, there's a lot of competition out there, but he seems to be rising to the top all the time. This year, the top three are in superb form. Novak's incredible winning streak last year was ended in the semi-finals at Roland Garros by Roger Federer. Um, yeah, I mean, I hope it's going to help uh, me having have played so well last year that it's going to help me again this year, but there's no guarantee for that. Um, I still have to put in the, you know, all the hours in the practice courts and the right scheduling and all those stuff, and then you still don't know, uh, you know, that you guarantee you're going to play well. Um, but last year was a great tournament for me at the French Open. Um, I played um, super solid all the way to the semis and played an amazing match against Novak, one for the sort of the ages almost. Then I was able to back it up with a great match against Rafa, where Things just got, got a bit tricky once I missed a set point in the first set and then the rain came and obviously Rafa found his range eventually and made things tough but uh, it, was a, it was a great match and uh, I look back at the French Open also myself as one of the great tournaments I played last year. When Rafa Nadal beat Federer in that 2011 final, he clinched a record equaling sixth crown on the court Chatrier. Always is very special to, to be back in best Grand Slam of the year for me to, to, to play. Rafa is, is the best clay court player ever played the game and uh, you know what he has been achieving on clay over the last seven years, it's, it's unbelievable. And Rafa is, is still have that ambition, is still have the motivation and still going to win many more tournaments, many more Grand Slams, I believe, if, if, if he's healthy and have the motivation. The chances we will see, I don't know, but uh, the only thing that I can do is try my best in every moment to, to arrive there in the, in the right conditions. So Rafa looks to make history, while the French hope homegrown talent can finally come good. I mean, uh, I play, you know, behind my crowd and, uh, you know, I like that. I like the Davis Cup, I like uh, playing France and uh, it gives me a lot of energy, you know, there is some player who, for, for who it's, it's tough to play, you know, behind uh, his own crowd, but, you know, for me it's really good and I like that, so I hope I will play my best tennis uh, in Roland Garros. There's much to look forward to, and we'll have the best of the week one action in next week's show. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, presented by Rio, Parisian passion. We're behind the scenes at Roland Garros. As Novak bids to be the first man in 43 years to hold all four Grand Slams, we speak to the man who did it last, the legendary Rod Laver. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter. 
See you next week.